A deadly car accident brings together a group of previously unrelated people, each of whom is forced to deal with the emotional fallout. The movie begins with a woman named Catherine. Catherine is remembering her eldest son Nicky who died in a horrific car accident when he was 16 years old. She has not forgotten her son's death till this day. She does not even allow her younger son Brady to go to Nicky's room, and because of this Brady feels very bad. On the other hand we see a school teacher named Walt to whom a student named Sherry comes and asks him for help regarding the course, only then we can understand that Sherry is attracted to Walt and Walt likes her too. Furthermore, Sherry works as a weather reporter for a news channel. In the next scene we see a boy named Jordy in prison, who is serving a punishment on the charge of stealing a car. After a few days his punishment is completed due to this, he is released from jail. Outside the prison, Jordy sees his dad, Carl, who is there to take him home, then, we come to know from their talks that Jordy does not get along with Carl, and both the father and son keep fighting. Walt on the other hand finds a newspaper in the house, regarding Catherine's son's accident, which he keeps it with him. In the next scene of the movie we see Jordy at his house, where Carl gives him a week time, and wants him to find a job in this week or else he will be gone from his house. Jordy's stepmother Elise tries to be friendly with Jordy after Carl leaves for the office. But Jordy doesn't like his stepmother at all, because he thinks that Elise is only with his dad for money, so Jordy doesn't talk to Elise well and leaves. Then Walt comes to visit his younger brother Dennis, here we can understand by the way Dennis talks, that his mental condition is shaky, and he has not come out of his apartment since last two years, he is depressed. After that, we see Walt talking with Carl. Carl is a psychiatrist and Walt feels that he has gone into depression, so he came to Carl to get his therapy done. Furthermore, Walt explains the reason for his depression, and tells Carl that one night he was driving a car very drunk, his whole family and his younger brother Dennis were in the car, due to being intoxicated he could not pay attention to the road and they had an accident with another car, Catherine's son Nicky was killed in that accident, and he has seen someone over there with Nicky who was wearing a t-shirt of a basketball player. Just after hearing the full story, Carl understands that he was the basketball player, then he tells Walt that he is not able to continue the session, to which Walt does not understand why. On the other hand let's look at Catherine. She would often go and sit near Nikki's grave, and when there is no one at home she goes to Nikki's room and used to cry a lot remembering him. Seeing these of Catherine we understand that she loved him very much and she is unable to move on with the grief of losing him. Here Jordy comes to a pizza shop to give an interview, but because he had already been jailed and at the same time he had previously committed petty crimes, therefore, the manager refuses to give him the job, but after Jordy says too much, the manager agrees and hires him. On the other hand we see Walt, he is talking to his wife Abby while watching Sherry's weather reporting, Sherry is the same girl who was attracted to Walt from school or somewhere, where Walt is a teacher. Meanwhile Abby tries to get closer to Walt but Walt refuses her because he is busy watching Sherry on TV. Now seeing this, we understand that Walt and Abby's marriage life is not going well, and they are not happy with each other. On the other side when Jordy is giving himself a pleasure in his room, Elise sees him doing it and she immediately comes out of the room, then Jordy gets very angry, then he goes to sit in front of a park nearby, where he meets his high school friend Melissa, she invites him to a party, then tells him that she has seen Nikki's mom Catherine a while back, and asks him if he has talked to her, Jordy replies no, so Melissa tells him to meet Catherine for once at least, we don't know why, maybe he was her son's friend. Anyway, on the other side Abby leaves Walt to go to her sister's house, because Walt was not paying any attention to her, and is feeling like her marriage is falling apart. She decides to stay out of the house for a while, although Walt tries to stop her but Abby doesn't listen to him and leaves. After this Walt meets Sherry at school the next day, and we see they take their relationship to next level and start having a fair. On the next morning when Elise was drying her hair without clothes, Jordy comes in, seeing this, Elise immediately puts on a towel and asks Jordy, what is he doing there? Jordy says nothing and slowly gets close to her from the back and Elise does not stop him. While they are having their fun, they hear the sound of Carl's arrival which Jordy immediately hides in the bathroom. Further on asking Carl, Elise says that her head is hurting a lot so she was taking rest. Elise then tries to distract Carl by pulling him on the bed, so Jordy could sneaks out. Now, this is where Jordy's affair with Elise starts, and whenever Carl is not at home they spend time together and this cycle continues for many days. To come to a few days later while Jordy is at the pizza shop working, Melissa comes over. She asks Jordy why didn't he come to the party? Jordy makes an excuse and says that he had a lot of work that day. As they continue talking the manager interrupts them, and Melissa leaves, then after nightfall she comes back to drop Jordy to his house, and because it has been a long night so Jordy invites Melissa to his house, when she enters Melissa talks about Jordy and Nikki's friendship due to which she becomes emotional, during this, both of them become very close, but only then, Elise comes there, she asks Jordy about Melissa, to which Melissa says, that they are high school friends. 
Hearing this Elise leaves from there without saying anything, and after she leaves Jordy also asks Melissa to leave. Seeing everything, Melissa does not understand anything and she leaves. On the other side, Walt learns that Dennis talks frequently on the phone with a girl named Sylvie, Walt also likes Sylvie for his brother, so he one day secretly calls Sylvie to Dennis's apartment. Seeing Sylvie, Dennis tries to hide because for the last two years he had not met anyone other than Walt. Sylvie also already knew everything about Dennis' condition, so she tells Dennis that she will stand on the other side of the door and will talk to him, like they used to talk on the phone this whole time. Dennis agrees and both of them talk a lot for a long time. When Walt sees his brother happy, he is also very happy because Dennis is recovering slowly due to Sylvie's existence in his life. Then we see Melissa and Jordy are spending time together due to which both start liking each other. After this, in the next scene we see Walt and Sherry talking. Sherry tells Walt that a few years ago when he had a car accident she had come to interview him. But maybe he doesn't remember that thing now. And Walt does not like this at all, so he leaves. When Jordy is working, his manager asks him to work quickly and Jordy gets fed up by the actions of his manager. So he leaves his job and comes home with Melissa to take his stuff and to leave. Elise tries to talk to him and she also is annoyed with Jordy because he is with Melissa. But but Jordy doesn't listen to her and leaves with Melissa. That night when Jordy can't sleep he calls Catherine, and then the next day we see him and Catherine talking. Here we get a complete understanding that Nikki was also in the car that Jordy went to jail for stealing it, but the idea of stealing the car was Jordy's and not Nikki's. After driving Jordy and Nikki, a car accident happened with Walt's car who was driving while intoxicated, but they did not know that their accident happened because of Walt. That's where we see their talking openly about Nikki brings both of them out of their respective guilts and the burden that has been on Jordy and Catherine's heart for so long is also light. And then, when she gets home Catherine burns all of Nikki's belongings because she has realized that she can no longer change her son's death and now she has to move on. After all this Catherine goes to her younger son Brady and she plans to go on vacation with him for a while because after Nikki's death she stopped paying attention to Brady and now she wants to change that and Brady is overjoyed when he sees that his mother is paying attention to him. On the other side we see Dennis, he moves out of the house to meet Sylvie for the first time in two years. In this way Walt realizes his mistake, he then goes straight to apologize apologize to Catherine, and Catherine says that she knew it was because of him that Nikki had an accident that day. So she beats him a lot and then leaves crying with Brady. At the same time somewhere else, when Jordy comes home and tries to talk to Elise Carl comes from behind and starts bidding him, because he came to know about their affair. Then Jordy is also upset with his father's actions so he starts fighting back with his father. A scuffle breaks out between the father and the son, but Elise comes there and stops both of them. During the same scuffle Carl was badly injured, so Elise immediately takes him to the hospital. At the end of the movie we see Dennis having dinner with Sylvie, and Catherine was looking happy for the first time in so many years.